Hi everyone, welcome to Haruaps podcast number four, and this is the second segment of my podcast, and I'm going to talk about um, CD Burner XP. This is a very nice tool that I have installed on all my computers, and this is to burn CDs and DVDs. Uh, this is an alternative to the expensive Nero program. And, um, yeah, it doesn't have all the functionality of Nero. Like, you cannot edit movies and just, you know, create covers and stuff. But if you just, if that's all you need to do is to burn your files and create, you know, music CDs and DVDs, this is the perfect tool for you. Uh, let me just go to, well, first of all, yeah, get the program from cdburnerxp.se. Or you can visit my website and uh, just search for a CD burner, and then you, you'll stumble upon it. And um, this is a free program. They're at version 4.3.8 as we're recording this show. And let's go through the program interface. Um, this is very intuitive. Uh, it's easy to use. Now there are a couple of functions. Uh, data disks, audio disks. Uh, if you want to burn an ISO image, if you want to copy or grab music from from discs, or if you want to erase a, a rewritable medium or a rewritable disc that you have, you can use this. All right, let's start with the data disc portion. Um, all you do is you select the data disc and click OK, and that will bring the window um, on the top left that is usually the uh, the root where all the files uh, it's a, exactly like explore you can you know if I click on my computer let's say if I click on desktop on the right side of the, the panel it will display all the files that's on my desktop so and at the bottom you've got two windows one on the left side is your current disks what's included in it and on the right side this is the active area of the um, the program where you just drop files to be added onto your disks. So um, usually what I do is I uh, I right click on the disk icon at the bottom left portion and I click rename and I'm just gonna call this one podcast four. So that's gonna be the name of your disk when you insert the disk in the computer. That's the name it's gonna be that's gonna be displayed. And I'm going to grab, let's say, uh, from the right side here, I'm going to click and drag files on the bottom right portion. Uh, so if you have like a folder, you can certainly drag it. It won't let me, but... Uh, and uh, if you want, you can also pick a just a folder on your machine and just drag it over. So I'm going to drag it over, and it gets... Um, added to my uh, my disk. Now on the left portion here you can see that uh, all the files uh, by clicking on it get displayed on the right side as well. So at the bottom you see a green bar that tells you how much space is being used right now. Now a, a CD is a 700 meg, a DVD is 4.2 gigabyte roughly and um, so what you would do when you're done, you've got all your files, and in the middle portion, uh, there's the, I guess, the CD-ROM or the CD burner. You can click if you've got multiple burner. You can pick which one you want. And the number of copies on, on the right, um, you can pick if you want multiple copies. You can select the number that you want, and you would just insert a, a blank DVD or CD and hit burn and a screen will open and it'll say you want to leave the disk open so you can write you know to the disk at a later date or you can finalize the disk and no more data will be able to be added to this disk which is usually the the one I pick I'll just burn my stuff and say finalize the disk and let's just burn it and um, it will if there's no disk it'll say well disk is required just insert the disk please and once the disk is in it will start burning it's that simple there's a lot of fun like options on the top that you can select but to be honest I've never even browsed through them because everything works like a charm okay uh, now for the 
the um, audio disc, well, it's it is very similar. Uh, what it will do is it will bring up the same screen that we just saw, and except what you do is you drag and drop your. Let's say I'm gonna grab three MP3 songs here, and I'm gonna drag them over. Now, um, audio discs are a bit different because what it'll do, it will not take your MP3 and copy it as an MP3. It changes the format to a WAV format, which is an exp it's an uncompressed format, which will allow you to read it in your car. Uh, so at the bottom here, you see how many minutes are used so far. So with these three songs, I've got 12 minutes, and uh, it's it's you can put up to 80 minutes on a on a CD. So you could add uh, I don't know probably you know 10 more songs, and uh, your disc would be full. And uh, exact same process as before. You select the number of copies you want. You hit burn, finalize the disc. Uh, which is important in this case if you want to be able to play your disc you have to finalize the disc and you're done alright now let's go to the next one um, which is I believe burning ISO this is very um, a useful tool if um, if you have an ISO file an ISO file is basically um, a file that's um, how can I put this way? Um, if you got multiple items um, and you can combine them into one file, um, ISO is a, a universal format that can be mounted as a drive, and that way all files remain in one file. But once it it is expanded or mounted, you have access to all your file. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just I'm just going to show you. Um, what what uh, you know what it what it how it works? So I got it on my desktop here, FreeNAS, uh, which is a, a free program, and I'm just going to browse to it. I'm going on, on the desktop, and I'm going to point to FreeNAS, and I'm going to say open. <clears throat> now it knows that um, it's a valid file; otherwise, it would have gave me an error. And I can just uh, insert a disk. Burn the disk, and I've got myself um, uh, a disk containing the content of the FreeNAS folder, so or the FreeNAS image. Very useful tool. Um, this one is, let's say you have a, a music CD and you want to grab the songs off the CD. Well, that will do it. Um, I'm not going to demonstrate it for this uh, presentation, but um, certainly you can do this at your own time. And the last one is uh, erase disk, um, which I'm not going to demonstrate either. If you get a rewritable disk, you would go in here, and uh, it will say, "Well, okay, where is your medium?" So you select, "All right, it's here," and you can do a fast copy, and you would say "erase," and it will erase the content of your CD-ROM. Well, that is uh, that is it, uh, people. Uh, thank you for um, for watching. And uh, you can visit my website at www.haruapps.com. And, um, yeah, thank you for watching. Just stay tuned. With the next uh, final segment of the podcast is going to be a win to flash. <laughs>